Hey guys, so it's been a, a little while since I did a ribbon pour. So I actually wanted to do one of those today. Um, and if you don't know what ribbons are, you will by the end of the video. Um, I'm just going to go for it. I actually went this weekend and I got um, a bunch of new metallic paints. Um, so this is a metallic purple, which I really like. And then this is a antique metallic bronze. Let's use a bunch of that. So let's say black, purple, bronze. Let's throw a little white in here. And this is a 12 by 12 canvas, just so you know. Let's throw some blue. Hmm. A little more black. I think we'll just stick with those colors. So let's go back to a little bit of the purple. A little bit of the antique bronze. Some more blue. And then some more white. And then I think we're good. So let's try this. Um, I don't think I'm gonna flip cup this. So first of all, I'm gonna show you kind of what just what a ribbon is. Like that is a ribbon. Okay. So we're gonna kind of do this whole painting with ribbons, and it's gonna look awesome. Go ahead and we'll spread this around a bit. Um, now what you can do too is a flip cup like normal and then do the ribbons over it. That also looks really cool. But this is kind of just another way to do a dirty pour. Um, that's just a little more interesting. Alright, so you can still see some of the ribbons in here. Um, I have a little bit more paint left in here, so I'm going to go starting on the corner here, and I'm going to go ahead and put another little ribbon through there. Now I know that looks mostly black. <laughs> But it does have bronze and whatnot in there, too. Okay. Now that was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> That's okay. It happens. I don't worry about it. Okay, I'm going to spread that out just a little bit. All right, so there you have ribbons. I really like this section over here. All right, we're gonna let this sit for a bit and then we'll go ahead and go in for the close-up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go in for the close-up here. Got a nice, not a nice cell action over here. Um, yeah, I did notice that metallics tend to give you quite a bit of cells and someone commented that's because they're pretty, probably because they're heavier than other paints so they sink to the bottom and help make the cells this is actually a really cool corner over here you see that kind of glittery yeah oh i just had another idea all right one second okay i had done glitter mixed in with paint before and it didn't work at all um now i'm very annoyed that i dripped this over here so what we're gonna do i'm gonna take some glitter and we're gonna set it on top here just gonna kind of put it in here in this section. 
Okay, I don't want to go too overboard with it. Um, and now to balance it out, let's see, put a little bit, I'm going to just throw a little bit in here. smarter about this. <laughs> I can control it. Yeah, like I said, I don't want to get too crazy with it. And this is like a champagne glitter. So I think it goes along quite well with the colors in this painting. There we go. Okay. I know when to stop, I swear. Good. Go ahead in for another close-up. Okay, it's so obviously putting the glitter on top works. So now, got this cool glitter over here. So yeah, there you go. Tried the glitter again. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.